Hello everyone, Susie Gamer here, and welcome back to another Crossout episode. So we have a new update called 0.9, and with this update we have a new faction. I'm not gonna explain every item with full detail, because I already made videos about them. But still, let's summarize the new faction. So they didn't put Cerberus Cabin, it's not gonna be with us for a while. For now it will stay like Special Cabin. And also they added something for a lazy players. If you want something different, some new vehicle and you and you don't want to waste your time with building, there now there's an option here called vehicle auto assembly. So if you're going to click this guy, something like this will happen. As you can see, it even automatically painted. If you're clicking again, something like this. There's tons of options, so it will mix up everything that you have in your storage and build creative vehicles. So it's a really good thing, I think it's gonna be useful and designs are actually not that bad, I'm really surprised. In co-driver's seat we have Misty, so now let's talk about weapons and other stuff. Okay, we have hardware called Tormentor, it's actually a really interesting model. If you activate it for 5 seconds, your melee weapon's gonna boost up. I don't think 5 seconds is actually enough. The bad thing about this, instead of 1, it requires 2 energy. If you have 2 spears with melee weapon combination, like, don't remove them. I think 2 spears would be much better. But yeah, if you are a really crazy maniac with harvesters, drushbas, then yeah, I think this hardware is for you. Another epic part, Phoenix. It's uh, actually really funny to play with this thing, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually even funnier than Fortune Mine Lair. The weapons of this faction is really good balanced. They're not overpowered, they really good balanced. So this Phoenix crossbow can attach explosive spear to enemy vehicle and it will detonate in 5 seconds. Really funny weapon, I recommend it to everyone. Like, you, you have to try. Okay, so I think this is probably the best hardware of this faction. It's called Oppressor, Oppressor Engine. So basically this engine is increases weapon and missile reloading speed by 30%. But this thing gonna work when your car is moving. Maximum effect is 30% at 80 km per hour. So if you're gonna go with 80 km per hour, your weapon will reload 30% less time. It's a really good thing and it requires one energy point. It's perfect. It's gonna be useful for, I think, for every player. Like, you have to try this engine, definitely. Your DPS will increase, 100%. Werewolf cabin here, as you know, when it's destroyed, it deploys suicide drone, which deals between 300 and 500 damage. Of course, damage depends how close you are to enemy. Incerator catapult. Well, this guy is a big disappointment. I don't think, like, mm, it's a support gun. No, you cannot be first with this. Like, it's too hard. For me, it's especially for me, it's too hard to shoot it. Like, it's a broken mandrake. I will call it like that. It catapults gas can and the gas can explosion leaves a flammable liquid puddle dealing damage to all targets. If you like supporting your teammate, this guy is for you. And also they added something new to the Caucasus weapon. From now on you have to choose on which target you want to shoot at. You have to select target manually. Okay, so now let's talk about nerfs and buffs. Lunatics Durability reduced 15%, Engineers increased by 14%, Nomads increased by 8%, Downs Children increased by 2%. Scavengers durability increased by 2%, Mass decreased by 25%, Steppenwolves durability increased by 20%, Mass reduced by 5%. So they only increased scavenger durability by 2% because they were already heavy. But now, yeah, Stefan was a little bit heavier than the scavengers. Lunatics are light vehicles for light builds and Stefan Wall scavengers heavy build. Okay, I'm good with that. So now let's check the weapons. Shotgun junk bow, range increased by 50%, spread is reduced by 17, 
Machine gun tackler. Yeah, here we go. Damage reduced by 15%. The impulse reduced by 14%. So yeah, it's not really surprising. Like it was OP. If you watched my tackler video, you probably know how powerful it is. Crossbow spike one. Here is a bad new. Reloading time increased by 25%. Okay, sad news for drone users. Drone Falcon. Active drone time increased by 50%, damage reduced by 30%. Woo! Oh! Guys! Guys, guys. Okay, wait a sec. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. They even nerfed Anakan. Oh my god. Okay. Drone durability reduced by 50%. Yeah, Falcon, you are no more. <laughs> if you remember, Falcon is flying drone with machine gun. Yeah, take it drone users, take it! Enough, no more drones in Crossout! Turret, Anaconda, it's the it's the turret with the uh, rocket launcher. Active time increased by 50%, rate of fire increased by 25%, damage reduced by 53%, durability reduced by 63%! Oh ho ho! This is really big nerf. As you know, in last patch, they reduced the damage of Cobra by 50%, if you remember that. Now the other drones suffered as well, especially flying ones. Okay, drone MD3 Owl, it's the flying drone with the rocket launcher again. Active time increased by 20%, damage reduced by 25%, drone durability increased by 50%. Wow. Now that's what I call balance. Turret barrier. Reloading time reduced by 60%. Shield durability reduced by 60%. They kinda super nerfed it, then super buffed it again. Kinda interesting. Quite good. For me, For uh, quite good. Cause I'm not a barrier user. I'm against shields actually. Fuck them. They're so robocraftic. Okay, now when flamethrower firebug destroyed, the flamethrower does not explode or damage the armored car. It's good. Flamethrower firebug, mine layer, porcupine, hobbitzer, mandrake. Now fire damage from these weapons hits up parts and increases the damage dealt to them. Okay, we have beautiful news for humpback users. Receiving damage temporarily increases the damage dealt. The maximum effect 25% at 1000 damage. If enemy gonna damage you, your guns will make more damage. Protective shield. Reloading time reduced by 44%. Active time is reduced by 60%. Shield radius reduced by 38%. Okay, so now they finally added something useful to the rates. Now we have the minimum power score requirements. So what does it mean? Imagine like you have you have like 6000 power score vehicle and you want to complete the hard rate but teammates who playing with you only have 2000 power score vehicle or 1000 it was so bad. So now if you want to join to medium difficulty rates you need to have 4000 power score, hard difficulty 5000, invasion 4000. It's good for invasion. Like, I suffered too much from invasion. Like, there was guy with only one cannon joining to fucking invasion. That was horrible. So now it's gonna be much easier to win this raid. Draco is really interesting weapon. Again, it's supportive, but it's a flamethrower. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of players who didn't try firebug flamethrower. Well, here is your chance. Finally, flamethrower available. You can build it easier, it requires two werewolf cabin, two thunderbolt shotgun and one charge radiator. It's not dealing damage as firebug, but still, it's a flamethrower, come on. About fortune, mine layer. Okay, it seems powerful, but feels not. But I think if you get used to it, maybe you can be effective. Using fortune effectively is the combining it with other weapons or hardware. Personally, I tried to combine two fortunes with the chameleon. It worked great. Like, I'd rather to go with two fortune and chameleon than three fortune. I don't know, but Draco and fortune feels like they're purple weapon, not orange. I don't know why. Yeah, they quite interesting. I'm recommending to you to try them just for difference. Weapons of new faction like they can't deal a great damage. I don't know what they are. Like 
They seem powerful, but dealing normal damages. Like for me, they even deserve buff, especially Catapult, because it's so weak for me. But I really recommend Phoenix and Fortune to everyone, especially Phoenix, it's, it's too funny to play with it. I'm recommending using Phoenix with fast vehicles. Like stick the explosive spear to enemy and run. So that's all news we got from the new faction and new update. I'm gonna try to make more videos about new weapons of course. Thanks for watching, share, leave a like, subscribe. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom. Ow, 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 ow. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right down.